Hello all and welcome to another episode of Videocast. So we'll be doing these semi-regularly to keep you updated on what we've been doing. And as of now, we've been working on, as we've announced previously, a TerraZone computer game which we'll be releasing on Steam to join our previously released Hide and Seek. Of course, this one is a much bigger project, so we have lots of updates along the way until the game is finally released. And of course, once again, I am joined with my associates, uh, Draco and Taitu, AKA Kayla and Ryan. Yeah, hey. Hey, what's up? With the supposed boss of this organization, Zero, AKA Rob, AKA <laughs> So, hello everyone. <laughs> So anyone who's been following us, we've introduced our main character of the game, or rather, main characters, Sky Varian, and both their male and female counterparts. If it isn't obvious already, you get to choose which gender you'd like to be while playing the game. Isn't that right? Oh yeah, it's really cool. Yep. And you can find further details on the subject within our devlogs on our website, mysticmaskmedia.com. Go check it out. Uh, yeah, the devlogs are pretty funny, actually. They have these little skits in the beginning, so yeah, they go into further details about what it is that we've been up to. And yeah, you get a nice little treat at the beginning of each of them with a very eccentric character of ours from the game. He goes by the name of Seon. <laughs> they they um, go over both the technical sides of the um, development as well as the artistic side. So if you're interested in either of those things, feel free to check them out. And we're almost done designing the Shoot for the Stars landing page as well, where you can sign up for our upcoming newsletter to get more information on the subject, if you so crave it. Yeah, there'll be plenty of ways to get information about all the latest updates with Shoot for the Stars, as well as, like, TerraZone the game itself, any other game projects we plan on working on, and if we do anything else, you know, like, if maybe there's more virtual cons in the future, or, like, any, literally anything. It's, it's a lot of different ways to keep up to date on what we're up to. The sky's the limit. Oh. <laughs> I know what I'm personally excited for, though, and I look forward to seeing you bring back the comic book. <laughs> bring back comics. I've gotten this uh, a couple of times in the past, maybe not so much recently, but for all those that have been wondering if I was ever picking up on the comic again, yes, absolutely. Uh, I have plans for a follow-up how to play if you want to call it a how to play part two although of course the rules are going to be updated to what they currently are and now's a good time to release them because as i mentioned in the past we stamped our foot down and said this is it these are the rules no more rule changes so that way this how to play can come out and it will not be immediately um erased and been like oh sorry that's not how you play the game no no, this time it's for real, guys. Um, I have begun loose plans on the story that will take place. And once again, you'll get to learn exactly how to play Terrazone Clash of Creatures, because I have gotten that question before. And I'm hoping for this to be an outlet for those people that want to know how to play the game. So yes, on Webtoons, hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be releasing a How to Play Part 2. So you get to see all the previous six characters once again, and maybe I'll throw in one or two surprises along the way. You'll never know. So I would keep a lookout on that as well. So, And we've also been dipping into new kinds of software in order uh, to enhance the current game project. So Kayla and or Ryan, if you would like to further explain on those details. Uh, yeah, Ryan, you've been working on Visual Studio and uh, various coding languages. 
Yeah, on the technical side, I've been mostly building tools uh, for importing data into the game. Uh, we talked about this a little bit in Devlog 3, but uh, just to reiterate it, um, we built a script for Photoshop so that we can uh, build objects for the game, as well as their collision and sorting. And we've built a C-sharp application that allows us to create data for the dialog system uh, to allow us to create events and actions for that system. As I like to put it, uh, he's performing magic. He's like, poof, it, it's a thing, and it's amazing. <laughs> yep. I believe that's what most people believe programmers do. <laughs> Program magic, yep. That's what it feels like if you don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's awesome. Going back to the uh, how to play for a second, if you remember the character manager, the overly energetic cards and comics shop owner who played a smaller role in the how to play comic we're actually going to be showcasing him in the next devlog so if you'd like to get to know manager a little better before how to play 2 comes out check out the next devlog he'll be in there yeah we'll be uh talking about like what his shop is going to look like in the overworld so that's going to be the first actual room that we're going to start seeing so we're going to see it like at the very least in its like kind of basic form and of course you know we're going to be adding to this over the coming weeks and months and uh one of the things i'm personally very excited about is um having taken inspiration from webtoons i've noticed a lot of comic book illustrators on that site they use like some kind of 3d software whether it be like maya or google sketchup or blender and uh i decided to look into blender and see like oh what would that be like to incorporate that into the objects in the overworld and kind of as they say like kill two if not more stones in this case because it's gonna it's gonna be really cool just to create the object once boom it's there um so we have plans of integrating blender with our visual novel system as well as the overworld to create the objects it's going very very well and having worked with 3D before, a lot of it is just kind of coming back to me. I'm like, oh, okay, that's how Blender does this. And Spine also uses a lot of 3D uh, ways that it handles things between like the vertices and like the bones and this and that. So it's all it's all kind of coming back to me because I studied uh, 3D animation and modeling a few years back, and I was like, you know what, I wanna I wanna bring that back into this project and. Yeah, it's going very well so far. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And uh, <laughs> Rob's architecture skills have definitely been helping with designing Manager's Room. He had apparently uh, underlying architecture skills that he didn't know about. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, Just making those blueprints. I could do things. Uh, lastly, we started loose plans on the construction of the actual card packs themselves. So we had before a minor idea of like, okay, this is going to be in set one, this is going to be in set two. But recently we came to the conclusion of spreading cards out a little more so that the first set isn't overly saturated with a whole bunch of different uh, options right from the get-go. So I decided let's split it up a little more, introduce archetypes a little later down the road, little things like that. And uh, hopefully I'm pretty confident actually that it's going to clean things up a fair bit. All right, I'd say that's about, that about does it. What would you say, Ryan or Kayla, any other additional input you'd like to provide at this time? Uh, I think we've more or less gone over what we've done so far. I think that pretty much, yeah, I agree, covers everything. And I mean, as far as what we want to say for now, I mean, there, obviously there's a lot more we could say, but you know what they say, uh, give a little bit at a time. So it's a good thing. We have a lot to talk about. Yep. Just give, give you a little bit at a time. 
So guys, if you're interested in finding out more, if you're brand new to the channel or you've been watching us for a while and you want to stay up to date on what we've been up to, follow us on Twitter, Mystic Mask Media, and stay tuned for more TerraZone content.